it's it's um been a good time for the family, right? What's what's yeah. uh, what's this little stretch been like, right? What are you guys both getting ready for for big fights? Yeah, it's really unexplainable. Um, you know, him fighting in front of the fans and getting the crazy knockout and all this talk of him fighting Derek Lewis and whatnot. You know, it's it's crazy to think, and uh, just me being here this week is is even better. I mean, we're always looking for stories and motivations yeah. and stuff, but I mean, do you really take inspiration? I mean, obviously that's your brother. He goes out and does something like that. I mean, does that do something like actual for you? Yeah, how can it not? You know, I see him go in there and knock out the number seven guy, and it just makes me even more confident in myself, and I'm competing with him in the gym every single day. So, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, all right, so last one obviously didn't go your way. Um, talk to me about kind of what, what you took out of that, lessons that you, that you, uh, that you took from that one. Uh, just that I can't really like show up and no matter how I feel throughout the day, I can't show up and expect to win. I have to go out there and actually like put my foot forward and put an effort into it to winning. You know, uh, last fight, hats off to Phil Hawes. It was a great fight. You know, he's very dominant. And uh, yeah, he was dominant. That was about it. Uh, I just have to, you know, go back to the drawing board with my coaches at and figure figure everything out that I messed up on. But we did that now for this camp. So it was good. I would say, is that like a situation like just being like, like in the moment or whatever, I mean, you say like you can't just show up and win, right? Yeah, you know, you just have confidence and you think that you're unbeatable. And even though you win one fight, you know, you think you're you're the next superstar and everything like that. And I think it just kind of got to me. Um, showing up in the next fight, I, really, I didn't have the nerves that I usually get when I warm up for the fight. Um, I felt good and I wasn't nervous, but I think you need those nerves. If you don't need those nerves, if you don't have the nerves, then something you know something's up. Yeah, good point. Uh, all right, so despite the setback, big fight here, right? Like, yes. I mean, nice nice placement on the card. Uh, what does that mean for you? I mean, it, it doesn't feel like, you know, they're showing some faith in you to still put you in a matchup like this? Uh, I like to think that, yeah, that they, that they, that they have faith in me to, to go in there and, and get the job done. And, uh, I mean, I plan on it. It's, 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 it was a big surprise to me that I got the fight, but, you know, I can't say no to the fight. And I was going to say no to anybody that they gave me. So, if it's him, if it's Kevin Holland's number 14, it's number 14. Yeah. So it. What do you think about Kevin as an opponent? Kind of an, an, an interesting guy, right? Like he's had some great moments. He's had some setbacks recently. What do you, what do you think about him as an opponent? The fans love him. Uh, he's a he's a guy that's in there to talk and 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 you know that's what the fans love. Uh, he's a very good fighter. You know, a lot of people will kind of think he has terrible wrestling defense and all this stuff. But I mean, I think he's good. I think he's decent. Um, I think he struggles in one thing, and that's cage defense. And I'm going to take advantage of that throughout this fight. And uh, yeah, I just think the fans kind of they go too hard and they, they go at him too bad but yeah i think he's a lot better than people are saying that he is when you think about i mean obviously we know he's like stepped back and, and said i'm just going to focus on wrestling i mean how much do you think a guy can improve in wrestling in a couple of months i mean is that something that you can really make big strides in in that short of time i mean i don't think so i mean my brother and i've been wrestling for a while now and we're still kind of subpar at it um you know we kind of we go in there and and we just Drill and drill and drill and drill, and it's still it's still very hard to get the takedowns live and and defend live and everything like that when you're going against an experienced guy. Um, and I think that's that's Kevin's kryptonite right now. So, as you were getting ready for this fight, did you ask your training partners to talk trash to you the whole time? Or? Yeah, I had my I had my coaches kind of run their mouth a little bit. You know, even though my brothers my brother uh, is competing with me and stuff like that, you know, we always talk smack back and forth. But the guys at the gym, they're 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 very, very loud and obnoxious as well. So it's, I'm, I'm used to it. It's funny. All right, last thing for me, I just want to ask, I mean, what's the goal here? I mean, is it just get a win by any means necessary and get back in the win column? Or is it like go and try to do something special against this ranked guy in this big spot? I mean, what's what's the plan here? No, I'm going to go out there and just, I have to win regardless of, of the outcome. You know, uh, I have to go out there and, and I'm not going to chase anything. Um, I'm not going to try to force anything or anything like that. I'm going out there to just win. If I have to make it a boring three-round fight, I'll make it a boring, boring three-round fight, you know? I'm here to just take his number and get paid. And I'm not, I'm not going to be flashy and do something that would make a mistake and make me get knocked out or anything like that. So. Did your brother sign the contract yet? Can you break some news for us? My client refuses to uh, answer any questions right now. <laughs>